And a tree falls on a passing car, killing a longtime former Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy. It happened about 100 miles south of St. Louis in Iron County. Fox 2's Andy Banker reports that people called the 64-year-old Fenton man a guardian angel. State police say it was a little after 6 o'clock last night. Kirk Ainley and his wife were passing by on Highway 21. And right then, this old pine tree just collapsed and fell over the road. And tree fell into the passenger's compartment of the vehicle and killed the passenger. Because everything does is a traffic crash. But if there was ever a traffic accident, this would be it. To be driving along and have a tree fall on you. Our thoughts are with with his family and you know the the other occupant in the vehicle, you know the, just everybody involved because this is this is something that, that you can never anticipate. His children say Ainley retired from a security job at St. Clair Hospital in Fenton in the spring after serving in the Army and the Air National Guard. He was also a Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy for 25 years, retiring from there in 2012. His wife was driving the car. And somehow she suffered only minor injuries. His former co-workers are heartbroken, losing a man they considered to be a guardian angel. He really loved our patients, obviously, but he really loved our staff. Um, he was one of those guys that when the staff saw him in the hall, they loved talking to him. When he was on the patrol in the parking lot, he would help give them rides to their cars sometimes and, and really took that seriously. And when the hospital president fell down some stairs, it was Ainley who checked to make sure she was okay. And he looked at me as a security officer talking to the president of the hospital and said, now you don't have to be tough, young lady. You tell me if you're hurt. And that was just really who Kirk was. Um, he really took care of everybody, including me. There were thunderstorms in the area at the time of the accident, but there's no word yet on what role the weather played, if any, in bringing down that tree. In Iron County, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.